So driving through Georgia, um, you, know, you can drive for hours and hours and hours. You can even drive down the, uh, the Wiregrass Trail and drive for hours and never actually see a longleaf pine. Uh, most of the pines that you see are planted slash pine, especially South Georgia planted slash pine, uh, loblolly, uh, almost always those two species. Uh, in the last 25 years or so, we are planting some uh, longleaf pine, but uh, the significance of longleaf, um, uh, it, it's a drastic, it, it, superficially, it sort of resembles the other pines, but it's a totally different tree with a lot of um, highly desirable characteristics from, um, from an ecological standpoint and also a lumber standpoint. I mean, the usefulness of longleaf uh, it's generally speaking a slower growing tree in a natural situation. It's a fairly slow growing tree. Uh, and as a planted pine, it actually does very nearly as well as slash pine now. Uh, it may be a little bit slower to get started, but it eventually will catch up to slash pine. But in a natural situation, uh, longleaf, um, uh, if you think about a tree that's exposed to fire every one to three to five years, um, uh, we, we tend to think of longleaf as, you know, fire tolerant, but it's not completely invincible. And fire is, uh, it does damage the tree. It does slow the growth on the tree to some extent, uh, especially repeated fires over very, very many years. Um, and so natural longleaf for that reason um, is tighter grained. Um, the fire itself um, tends to scorch or kill the lower branches when the tree is forming. And so um, natural longleaf that's exposed to fire uh, creates that very tall uh, stately pine that we think of when we think of you know, an old longleaf. And so most of the lower branches have been scorched off uh, or they've been shaded out uh, by the, the competition of other longleaf. Uh, and so you end up with these very tall, very straight um, trees that are tight grained and heavy. So they're significantly heavier than most of the other pines. And so they're worth more per ton. Um, uh, and so th that, that very dense straight wood is much higher quality. Um, um, it's extremely strong um, heart pine, the, the center part of the tree um, was shipped all over the world um, of, you know, buildings in every major city in eastern, in the eastern United States was built out of longleaf, you know, during the industrial period. And um, uh, the, the, its, its only weakness is fire. You know, if, if a building built out of heart pine, uh, a structure home is, once it catches fire, it's, you know, almost impossible to put out. But um, that heart, because of all those natural resins, you know, longleaf is, is a very, very resinous tree. And uh, over time, uh, as the tree gets older and older, the heart be begins to solidify. And so that's just the, 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 the dead part of the in most interior part of the tree where the resins uh, in the sap would normally flow up and down within the tree. Uh, the heart is where that flow of, of resins stops and the sap just sits in one place and sort of cures into a natural, uh, um, uh, all those resins sort of cure and make a, a very hard, uh, stable, very rot resistant, um, yet very flammable wood. And um, <clears throat> so from that standpoint, it's, uh, it's an amazing tree. Um, <clears throat> and so much of the longleaf pine that was put into buildings and homes um, right now, one of the largest markets for, for longleaf is the salvaged, uh, reclaimed, you know, lumber out of mills and houses and things. And um, it's a, I'm sure it's a good feeling to be using wood that may have been cut 100, 150 years ago and to think that the actual tree may have been two or 300 years old. And you're, you know, re that, that is a true definition of, you know, repurposing and recycling, you know, a very significant special uh, resource.